Uh, in Cumbria, we have a really high rate of apprenticeships. Uh, they're very popular here, and the big benefit is that it enables young people to earn and learn at the same time. So you've got the benefit of being based here in the business and getting hands-on experience of working in the business and be at college at the same time, gather your theory from college and actually put it into a real working life scenario and you're being paid to do it at the same time. It, you know, it's a very popular choice and, and you can see why. Bettering about the course? Well, obviously you're learning as you're doing it. So I'm at college and I'm getting paid to be here. And with an apprenticeship, you're learning by doing. There's other things you'd have to learn and then go into it. When I was at sixth form, no one pushed me towards apprenticeships. Wish someone was there to push me towards it, because if I did, I'd have gone into it a lot sooner. I've, what is it, I've learnt and I've been paid to learn. So I can't think of anything better than that. <laughs> You do some classroom based learning and you get taught the theory behind things but the majority of your learning is through doing the day to day activities that you do in the workplace. It's much more uh, beneficial than learning the theory behind things and sitting in a classroom because you don't actually know what it's like until you come to do it. I find actually doing things is much better than learning the theory because you learn in all aspects of the job. I think that the way the apprentices are going now, moving on from level three and four to level seven, is absolutely brilliant. So you can now do a master's and still be called an apprentice and have it funded by the government. And that, particularly in the last three, four years, has, has made people want to do those more, whereas it used to be a trade and, and you were kind of at a certain level. It's now opened up a whole new ball game to, to everybody really and I think a lot of people maybe don't realise that the level 7 masters you can do via an apprentice. Personally I was I did a year of sixth form before I came here so I found this as a good alternative to what I was doing there. This gives me different experiences and it's a good alternative to A-levels. Most places aren't based in a national park. We have the Lake District literally on our doorstep. We're the only residential college that can say we can get to a mountain in 10 minutes, a lake in five minutes. The one thing that I always realise when people come here is that they just mouths drop open with our facilities and what we have to offer and also the great teaching staff as well who have been in the industry for, for years and have first hand experience on how to make it and how to be successful. I believe BTECs are an absolutely brilliant programme, uh, specifically for students who may not be able to demonstrate their competence and ability in the form of a two hour exam. What we say is education should almost mirror what's happening in work and we don't judge somebody based on what they've done in the morning or afternoon. We judge somebody on what they've been doing over a period of time and that's what the BTEC is designed to do. So it allows us to share information with the learners, it allows us to give them channels of information that they can go uh, and go and research, it allows them to discuss with other people and then come back and give them all types of assessment that allow us to capture their learning but in a style that suits them. So Nurse Cadets is a, a, a clinical course so you do a lot of placements, so about 200 hours of placements. Uh, you also do anatomy and physiology, the health and social side of things, so empowering people and I think it also just gives you a lot of experience in this course so it's really good for that sort of sense if you want to go to university and stuff like that. Yeah, the way the timetable works here is that they will get three lessons a week. Um, they will get three lessons a week of, of A level. So it's a good length of time to be able to cover content, um, really examine the content and um, do some specifics of kinesthetic activities or watch some videos or um, do some uh, worksheets and things like that. So you get a lot of variety within the lesson. But we also have time to really work on practicals. If we have a practical element to deliver, we can make sure that we can generate results. We can generate repeats of those results and we can analyse and uh, carry out statistical tests on those results. Particularly for me, I don't think there was any doubts from my kind of first year 
that I was going to try and apply to a top university to go and study physics and it meant that from that get-go my maths physics tutors were all homed in on what I was trying to do and helping me achieve that. A really clear sign of that help is that I've managed to successfully get an offer to study physics at Oxford next year. I like That's my absolute dream and I couldn't have asked for anything more so the college has obviously done something right to help me achieve that. So after year 11 there's three main options to consider. One is the academic A-levels where you study three or four subjects and you're taught mainly in the classroom. And the other option is professional and technical courses which are great if you've got a general career area in mind because they combine academic learning with practical experience. If you think that you want to get out and be working straight away and want to learn in the workplace then apprenticeships are fantastic for that and they can also lead to degree level training in the future. The main three things to think about really is what you might be interested in career or course wise, how you want to learn so classroom, practical or a combination and then thirdly what environment do you want to be in? Do you want to be in a school, a college or out in the workplace? So whatever job you're coming to, you need to enjoy it. If you're just coming just to get money, just to go out and get, like, it's no point. So if you actually go for whatever apprenticeship, whatever college course you go on or whatever to start your career, make sure you enjoy it.